Well, hi. When you think you've made your decisions on what you're going to do and how you're going to move forward with your photography, and then something comes out of the blue. With the OM Systems announced the new OM1 Mark II and the 150 to 600 uh, lens. Um, to be honest, I'm not particularly interested in the new OM1 Mark II, um, mainly because the OM1 does everything that I want it to do. Plus, I haven't reached the full potential of that camera as yet. Now, I've had it coming up for a year now, and probably I haven't used it as intensively as uh, some of you have used your cameras, but uh, I'm slowly getting to grips with it and uh, the more I use it the more pleased I am with the functionality of it and I think uh, the same um, it's the same for many of you out there as well many of you that I've spoken to actually out in the wild um, have the same sort of sentiment I know some will want the new one because it's improved AF um, and one or two other things, bigger buffer size, etc. But actually, you've really got to be doing something. You're going to run out of buffer space and uh, the AF not to be up to what you need. I don't know. It's, um, it's basically all down to settings. And I find there's a lot of, quite honestly, rubbish, which is down to people saying or setting up and saying well, this is the settings I use for wildlife and this is the settings I use for whatever if it's portrait or it's uh, landscape whatever but that's their settings that's what they prefer and it might not suit you you set the camera up as per because they're getting wonderful results but it might not suit you it might not be your style of the way you shoot or anything like that so it's, it is down to personal settings and if you set the camera up the way you want then really I don't think you're going to see a great deal of difference between the Mark 1 and the Mark 2. Going by what I've heard so far um, I'm talking about the general run of the mill photographer and I think it's also worth um, having a look at uh, Thomas Thomas Eisel um, channel the man from Vienna he is very good very knowledgeable and very much into the detail of the workings of both the Mark 1 which he claimed to be the best and now we have the Mark 2 which is probably got a little bit of an edge on it but is it sufficient to make you want to change or do you need to change? I doubt it. Again, I say, have a look at Thomas Eisel's channel. I will put a link to his channel. Um, it's, it's well worth a watch. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> Owen made, made this announcement. I had all but made up my mind that I was going to get uh, a new lens, the Olympus F4. 300 Pro and people I've spoken to as I say out in the wild all rave and say about um, how good it is using it for the sort of the photography that I do and they do um, and of course the ideal lens is the 150 to 400 with the 1.4 convert built-in converter I think that's uh, f4.0 uh, 4.5 aperture. Um, the new lens, of course, is variable aperture. I think it's up to 6.3 or 6.7, I'm not sure, um, at its longest focal length. Now, yeah, I have to, <laughs> at the end of this month, I've got a chance to get my hands on one to have a look. Um, at this new lens but I've been thinking about it more and more and I think size wise weight wise and price wise 
cost and that's a big factor for me is cost um, and quality the quality of the pro lens at f4 300 millimeter um, I, d I think it take, will take a lot to uh, surpass that anyway mm -hmm. rattled on enough I've got one or two clips have a look some close-ups managed to get some uh, shots of the Kestrel in flight using Pro Capture now Pro Capture works with the lens that I have which is the Panasonic Leica 100-400 but it doesn't um, focus and it doesn't react as quickly as the um, Olympus or OM lenses which are made to, to work with um, the OM-1 or the OM um, Olympus cameras. So that's a bit of a drawback but it works pretty damn well. Um, it's a good lens, it's been a lens that's been about for some time now and of course the new Mark II version which allows you to put the 1.4 converter on it basically it's the same lens so if it's gone in production for that amount of time and really they haven't uh, made improvements to it shows it's a good lens so um, anyway, will I or won't I? I think I... I will go for the, uh, the F4 300. Anyway, have a look, see what you think. And just have a look and see what's up the top of the tree. They weren't flying squirrels, but uh, it was unexpected as I was taking images of the Kestrel and there was our little friend perched there. Thanks for watching. And could you please give us a thumbs up, that would be good, and maybe subscribe as well. Most Much appreciated, and hopefully we will see you next time. If you subscribe, you will get notification of when the next video comes out. So many thanks for that, and bye for now.